Races on and Mini Mom hopped a bit at the start. Mini Mom. Double stakes winners Mini Mom and Mag's Choice were in the starting gate for the $100,000 Queen City Oaks at River Downs. But neither were a match for Pay the Man, who was second to the boys in the Gold Cup. She crushed her Buckeye sisters, winning off by six lengths. Four lengths off Pay the Man, and Pay the Man looks really tough here. Pay the man, Ricky Feliciano, just took a look over his shoulder, and oh, he likes what he sees. He sees about a seven-length advantage over Crypto Ohio, who's rallying up into second with little bit of bling. But inside the 16th pole, it is all Pay the Man. No pyrite personals to chase today. Pay the man, queen of the Queen City Oaks. She wins it by six and a half lengths. And the race is on, and O'Ryan absolutely sprinted out of the gate. Cold trial now coming up at Gold Rush Casey. Life on the backstretch doesn't get much better than having an unbeaten two-year-old in the barn. Such was the case at Riverdowns on July 22nd when Cold Trial, a Blazing Meadows homebred, won the Hoover, the first Ohio Fund juvenile stake of 2007. Gold Rush Casey is a stubborn foe, and now Cold Trial starting to re-engage down the outside, a final 16th to go, and here comes Cold Trial, and Cold Trial, the favorite, just ran right on by. Cold Trial was judge. Jury and executioner today in the Hoover Stakes wins it by two. And the race is on in the Kevin Gomer Tadaw Stakes. Owner breeder Fred Neiman finished off a highly successful month of July when his freshman filly, ready to rock, followed the act of stable make, acts like a king. She did so with a front running score in the Tada Stakes. They come into the stretch and ready to rock is tough. It's ready to rock who shook off. Got bling, ready to rock, comes to the wire alone and wins the Tada Stakes. And the race is on in the Horizon Stakes. Beating the boys is no easy trick for fillies and mares. But put Minnie Mom on the grass, and there's a good chance male runners will be bowing to the chestnut lassie. A winner on the lawn in the tomboy, she once again took to Riverdowns' turf course defeating 11 Colts and Geldings in the Horizon Stakes. At the eighth pole, it's Minnie Mom in front now by two. Smarmy trying to make up ground down along the inside. Play the hero. Hobo to hero rallying on from the back, but a final 16th to go. Minnie Mom still there. Smarmy, Hobo to hero. Play the hero coming late. Minnie Mom begging for the wire, and she's going to find it. Minnie Mom wins the Horizon Stakes by length. They're off in the Cleveland Kindergarten. Confidence was rewarded at Thistledown on August 10th when perfectly played, the $45,000 sales topper at the 2006 Ohio sale won the Cleveland Kindergarten. He had license to do so, being a half-brother to P for Perfect's Pistol, winner of the Baps Palacios, and being out of P for Perfect, a Buckeye Stakes winner. Running big, perfectly played on the inside as their Orion is fourth. Then it's take Ike Mike, he's beat a 16th to go and perfectly played. One look was all it took. He's the Cleveland Kindergarten champ. And the race is on in the vivacious handicap. The powerful lure of a turf course was never more evident than on August 11th at River Downs for the vivacious handicap. Among the nine fillies and mares was War Charm. She was making her Ohio debut, and the daughter of War Chant was along in time for the victory for Hall of Fame trainer, Shug McGahee. War Charm is coming hard. Misty Tab, the gray is down on the rail in between runners. Little bit of bling, Sybil's Angel still fighting on. A final 16th to go. And Dean Sarvis and War Charm strike the front. Misty Tab is second. Mini Mom late on the scene down the center of the course. But War Charm ships in and wins the vivacious handicap by two. They're off in the Miss Ohio Stakes. What better place to break one's maiden than in a stakes race? That's what Pyrightville did at Thistledown, winning the August 25th Miss Ohio. 
and she did so like the three to five betting favorite that she was. Pyride Bill cuts the corner with the lead and has a two length advantage with the furlong to go. Pyride Jim is second, Nakagawa is third, Title Princess is destined for fourth. A 16th to go for Pyride Bill, Nakagawa inching closer, inches won't cut it, Miss Ohio is Pyrite Bill. They're off in the Rose de Bartolo. The heavy hitters assembled at Thistledown on September 1st for the 24th running of the $75,000 Rose de Bartolo Memorial. The list of starters included defending champion Runaway Julie, as well as Princesses, Crypto Quip, and I'm a Honey Too. They all were running for second money as Pay the Man, in one of the most dominating performances of the season, galloped off by 11 and a half lengths. Wow, what a big effort. One of the biggest performance eyes I've ever seen here at Thistledown. Pay the man wins the rose by a dozen. And they're off in the Governor's Buckeye Cup. Two days later, and the North Randall Oval was again in the spotlight as the $75,000 Governor's Buckeye Cup was renewed at the demanding distance of one and a quarter miles. Cat Launch, who began the season as a sprinter, displayed his versatility and gameness by wrestling victory away from Pyrite Personal. And Pyrite Personal now surges to the lead. Cat Launch is trying to battle back. What the Devil is third. Buck under is fourth. A 16th to go. And Cat Launch coming back on Pyrite Personal. And Cat Launch retakes the lead. And Cat Launch has won the Governor's Buckeye Cup handicap. They're off in the Honey Jay. The September 15th Honey Jay Stakes at Thistledown is positioned three weeks prior to the Best of Ohio races and is considered the perfect prep for the sprint. Dews made every pole a winning one as the Shazam Stable Homebred captured his first stakes race of the year. Time would tell he'd be on his toes for the big day at Beulah Park. It's a Buckeye battle. Dews, try we may, and Ben's reflection. Dews has the lead. He drifts out. Then it's Try We May, Forest Picnic finishing with the flourish. Dews has the lead, and Dews has won the Honey Jay. And they're off in the John W. Galbraith Stakes and Nakagawa. The Best of Ohio program kicked off with the $75,000 John Galbraith for juvenile fillies. Sarah Sponda, a Joe Weir homebred, proved a quick study. Just two weeks off her maiden victory, the Yeti Lassie rallied for a smart score. To the outside, and Sarah Sponda getting closer, a 16th of a mile to go. It's Pyrightville, Lake Weary. To the outside, Sarah Sponda, late charge from what's left up the inside, but it's Sarah Sarah Sponda, Sarah Sponda winning the golf breath. Everyone settled and they're off. Just like a start for type A personality. It's Up Ohio next was the best of Ohio juvenile, Orion, who stalled in the stretch of the Hoover and Kindergarten stakes, took to two-turn racing. He stalked the pace, then used an outside rally to be along in time. Three across the track, 16th of a mile to go. Pyrite Jam, Orion, as well as Buzz Buddy up the inside, but it's Orion. Orion gets to the front late to win the juvenile stakes. And they're off in the best of Ohio sprint. Looks like a good start. The September 15th Honey Jay was indeed the perfect prep for dudes. Once again, he bounded to the lead from the gate, opened a clear advantage, and easily held it to the wire in the best of Ohio sprint. It's Dews homeward bound off that turn by two and a half lengths. Royal Nemesis in second. Trophy Road to the outside of try we made. Those two about seven lengths off the lead. A final furlong to go, and it's all Dews. Dews with a powerful performance in the best of Ohio sprint. And Dews and Tommy Pompel win by four lengths. Ben's reflection outside for second. And they're off in the best of Ohio distaff. Great start. The Phillies and Mares were next in the $100,000 distaff. DeBartolo and Queen City Oaks champion Pay the Man was heavily favored, but ours went to a Philly.